Nigeria, on the west coast of Central Africa, is the most populous nation on the continent. Her wealth of cultural diversity brings with it a competition and disunity that fuel violent, sometimes brutal acts against one another that cry out for a new quality of human engagement across the land. The bloody aftermath of deadly clashes in Jos State in Nigeria. As many as 300 people, many of them young children, were killed in the attacks early on Sunday. Aid workers say some bodies were charred and some had been shot. It was not immediately clear what triggered the latest attacks, which left many in serious condition in hospital. Attacks between the two groups in January left at least 326 people dead in Jos province. Shannon Napton, Reuters. In pairs, then small circles, Muslims and Christians shared their life stories and listened to learn as relationships deepened and trust was on the rise. If you want to see peace in the world, you have to start with yourself. And I call it the gold rule. Do it to others what you like others to do. What don't you like? Don't do it to another person. Atama! Atama! Labako! Labako! Labarina! Community work. I'm peaceful and I, and I, I love people and um, I believe in youth development. 
that is the real me. My master is hiding so many things. The joy, the happiness, and the physical love I have. Let me tell you, this de dependent syndrome has always been the problem. Yes. And too much dependent on the white people. That I've caged myself far too long. Um, unwinding that. It's anger that generates into hate. And that's when you start breaking up relationships with people. I'm looking for solutions to transform. I'm looking for problems to solve. This word, Muslim, even in their own religion, it means to bring peace. The Christian and the Muslim, you're supposed to come together. The tradition that does not encourage interreligious relationship is always dangerous. If we start seeing each other as one, things will flow. We we'll value our culture more. I think it's high time to tell you that we're shown violence and live as brothers and sisters. Can there be peace if we don't build relationships? I am also from a community that has trauma clash, and I'm actually inspired by this conference. That if I go back, I'm going to work on youth and peace in my community. So, 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 solidarity forever. We shall always live. In Change we wish to see in the world and take leadership. 